What's we supposed to do? <laughs> Come on, boys. Let me go back here now. Now then, you won't see what they can do. Well, if they can do that to two people, surely they do it to a hundred.
1957 Scammell Junior Constructor. Well, that's uh, Scammell Junior Constructor. Yes, Scammell Constructor that we've seen leaving the arena was one of the vehicles that this one actually supersedes. And that's brought to us by Colin Quinn, football from Heath. And then finally sold off at full auction. It's owned by Mr. Whitman from Weymouth in Dorset. Very nice um, onto the Bedford chassis. The local fire authority would specify what chassis they wanted or maybe even supply it. It uses all sorts of strange things. But uh, last but not least, the local farmer decided he wanted it to, uh, to work on his farm. And that's where it's been ever since. Special important announcement. And now uh, coming into the arena, something a little bit special. It's not just any old phone. Look at the roof for the camera. sets fitted in the rear and restored by Stuart Hibbard from Fording Bridge. Number 73, little aircraft uh, tug built by Lansing Bagnell in 1940. Played in the Martin number one parachute balloon training company. That's owned by Barry Lacey from Somerton. Driven today by his wife Margaret. Number four, the air. Powered by a 650cc engine and the uh, running gear of this vehicle is based on the Citroen 2CV. And that's followed by the big Leyland Hippo, 10 ton cargo